Joshua, Chapter 14 Nine and a half tribes still did not have any land, although two and a half tribes had already received land east of the Jordan River. Moses had divided that land among them, and he had also said that the Levi tribe would not receive a large region like the other tribes. Instead, the people of Levi would receive towns and the nearby pastures for their sheep, goats, and cattle. And since the descendants of Joseph had become the two tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh, there were still nine and a half tribes that needed land. The Lord had told Moses that he would show those tribes how to divide up the land of Canaan. When the priest Eliezer, Joshua, and the leaders of the families and tribes of Israel met to divide up the land of Canaan, the Lord showed them how to do it. One day, while the Israelites were still camped at Gilgal, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, went to talk with Joshua. Caleb belonged to the Kenaz clan, and many other people from the Judah tribe went with Caleb. He told Joshua, You know that back in Kadesh Barnea, the Lord talked to his prophet Moses about you and me. I was 40 years old at the time Moses sent me from Kadesh Barnea into Canaan as a spy. When I came back and told him about the land, everything I said was true. The other spies said things that made our people afraid, but I completely trusted the Lord God. The same day I came back, Moses told me, Since you were faithful to the Lord God, I promise that the places where you went as a spy will belong to you and your descendants forever. Joshua, it was 45 years ago that the Lord told Moses to make that promise. And now I'm 85. Even though Israel has moved from place to place in the desert, the Lord has kept me alive all this time, as he said he would. I'm just as strong today as I was then, and I can still fight as well in battle. So I'm asking you for the hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You were there. You heard the other spies talk about that part of the hill country and the large walled towns where the Anakim live. But maybe the Lord will help me take their land, just as he promised. Joshua prayed that God would help Caleb. Then he gave Hebron to Caleb and his descendants. And Hebron still belongs to Caleb's descendants because he was faithful to the Lord God of Israel. Hebron used to be called Arba's town because Arba had been one of the greatest of the Anakim. There was peace in the land.